Sister Wives Robin Brown's so quiet after Garrison's passing, don't you wonder what's going on? And Garrison Brown passed away, should the series be cancelled? I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S Gossip channel. Sister Wives celeb Robin Brown isn't saying anything about the tragic death of Garrison Brown. The female reality star should be speaking out. Sister Wives star Robin Brown's gone radio silent following the tragic death of Garrison Brown, and it's odd that she hasn't taken to social media to share her grief. However, there could be good reasons why she hasn't made a statement about Garrison's suicide. Some fans are blaming her for what happened, this may be enough to explain why she's oh so quiet. In fact, it's been years since Robin really felt safe on Instagram. Before Garrison's death, she was hazed on the platform. Imagine what would happen if she posted there right now. The comments would probably be worse than what Cody's getting on IG at the moment, and he is definitely getting some shade. Beyond Robin's reluctance to get dragged on social media, she's still torn apart on Reddit, YouTube and more, there may be other less obvious reasons why she won't comment on Garrison's death. For years, Robin's been typecast as the queen of passive aggression. She's been cruelly dissed for crying crocodile tears, manipulating Cody and Janelle, Christine and Mary Brown too, and interfering in Cody's relationships with his kids. In fact, she kept Cody from seeing his older sons at Christmas because she believed that they'd tangle with the patriarch and ruin the holiday. Now that Garrison's gone, Robin may be second-guessing herself. Maybe she was too heavy-handed in terms of her words and actions involving Christine, Mary, Janelle and their kids. Those children already had mothers. Also, since Robin has probably wanted monogamy for a long time, if not the whole time, she may have done things to weaken the bonds between Cody, his other spouses, and their kids. As per the E! News clip shown above, one of Garrison's final texts appeared in a group chat that Janelle wasn't a part of. He wrote, The brown kids by non-Robin wives preferred the way that things used to be. However, Robin's the apple of Cody's eye. In his eyes, she's basically a Disney princess like Snow White. He idealizes Robin as she's the only wife who's been able to handle him. He likes the way that she looks too. Cody seems to prefer brunettes. He rejected three wives on the blonde to light brown spectrum, falling helplessly in love with a dark-haired and petite woman. Clearly, Robin's just Cody's type. What Robin wants, Robin gets. So, Robin has the power to get her way and sometimes, she uses it. Nonetheless, she often pretends that she doesn't. She's the iron fist in the velvet glove. Robin can influence Cody without actually needing to do very much at all. With just a glance or gesture, she can let him know how she's feeling. He will take care of the rest. This awesome power that Robin holds is what the other wives hated and feared. Cody's kids by other wives didn't appreciate it either. Everyone knew who had the power. Sadly, Janelle, Christine, Mary and their kids were damaged by Cody's preference for Robin. For example, during the pandemic, Cody sealed himself off with just one wife. Robin. Since she wanted monogamy, she may have secretly encouraged him to do just that. That could be haunting her now. Robin wanted a traditional relationship with Cody but look what she has now, it has ended in disaster. While Cody and Robin should never be blamed for Garrison's suicide, as he was a complicated person dealing with a range of issues, including alcoholism and a troubled dynamic with an ex, Garrison's estrangement from Cody did hurt his son. It's not possible to say that it didn't, as Garrison was clearly upset when he called out his father on screen, saying that he'd bought a house and car and done other things, despite Cody's disapproval. Robin's impact on the family was extreme. She came in demure and sweet, but the force of Cody's love for her was like a tsunami. The other's wives were swept away. They remained in their plural marriage, but things were never the same. Cody and Robin clung to each other and everyone else was pretty much on their own. Unfortunately, the children by other mothers felt a lot of pain. Cody's less loved wives suffered too. Now that the family's enduring a horrible tragedy, Cody and Robin must be doing some painful self-examination. They love each other, but this awful event is going to have an impact, just like Robin entering the Brown family did. 
it's going to leave a massive psychological footprint on Cody, Robin and their children. It may change the way that Cody and Robin relate to each other. It could possibly alter their future by tearing them apart. Robin and Cody were just getting started with formal monogamy when this happened. When Robin went public, letting the world know that she wanted monogamy and would feel disrespected if Cody took another wife, she was revealing so much. She would pretended to be the ultimate sister wife, befriending Mary and crying tears over the family's downfall. However, inside, she wanted Cody all to herself. Garrison's passing is so sad and sister wives Cody and Robin are grieving too. They deserve sympathy, in particular, Cody, who is Garrison's father, deserves kindness. At the same time, the couple was often selfish. They had their own agenda and other people got hurt. The two reality stars aren't exactly Bonnie and Clyde, but after all of this, they may always be considered villains, whether it's fair or not. Had Cody given all of his wives and children equal shares of his love and attention, things might have been different. Should the sister wives saga finally end, Garrison Brown's death's a terrible blow. Maybe the show's cast members should embrace truly private lives. Sister wives parents Cody and Janelle Brown lost their son, Garrison Brown, and it seems like the show should end. While scenes featuring reactions to Garrison's death were reportedly already filmed, to be shown in season 19, watching that unfold on screen will be wrenching. It's far beyond the usual. Reality TV drama. It's as serious and awful as anything can be. While reality viewers thrive on emotional fireworks, this is just sad. It's a waking nightmare. Seeing grief that raw and unfiltered will hurt, but the pain of watching is nothing compared to what the Brown family members are going through. Should that pain be captured on screen? As long as the sister wives cast members give their consent, it will be. However, it may feel like a violation to watch. Some things are so bad that they don't fit in any of the typical categories. This is one of those things. It's not a failed romance or turbulent marriage. It's not some mother-in-law drama or jealousy or money problems. It isn't petty infighting. It's the death of a wonderful person who was always, as per his friend Kenya Gutierrez's recent comment to Us Weekly. A person you wanted to see, and he'd always say hello to you. His presence was being gracious. Robin Williams, a fantastically talented actor with exceptional range, took his own life. A British mathematician named Alan Turing used his genius to break Nazi codes. He helped Allied forces to defeat Guernany during World War II, and sadly committed suicide. Every person's gifted and important in their own way, and Garrison meant the world to his family. In particular, his primary caregiver, Janelle Brown, was devoted to her son. Some kids may thrive in the spotlight, but Garrison seemed to dislike it. In a text, he complained about the good times being filmed. Therefore, he probably hated it when the bad times were filmed, as they were in the tense and emotional discussion shown above. Garrison had military dreams. He wanted to join the National Guard, but as Cody who's feuded with Garrison more than once pointed out, members of that military group can be deployed and potentially lose their lives in combat. Cody wanted his son to get a college degree and then enlist. He felt his son would be safer in combat if he was an officer, rather than Private Bob. He asked his son to finish his education first, but that wasn't what Garrison wanted. When Garrison was 17, he joined the Nevada Army National Guard. He also enrolled in the College of Southern Nevada. In the scene shown above, Cody did show love for his son, although he's now depicted as an uncaring father, perhaps unfairly. In the discussion about college, Janelle agreed with her then-husband. Cody's often painted as a villain, and in this instance, he was called out even though he seemed concerned that his son would be killed in combat if he was deployed as a private, rather than an officer. This scene is intimate, personal, and intense, it's perhaps something that should be between two parents and their child, rather than being fodder for drama-hungry audiences. Garrison had to talk about his goals, dreams and wishes, and basically be criticized for choosing a path. However, that's what a young man is supposed to do. Garrison may have felt thwarted and humiliated, and having it broadcast probably made those feelings more powerful and hurtful. His parents would not agree to his plans, but their motive wasn't to hurt their son. 
In fact, they wanted to keep him alive and well. Things get twisted a lot but Cody showed love in this scene. He wasn't being mean, he was worried. At other times, it's easy to scoff at Cody, such as when he calls his non-Robin wives princesses. However, in this case, there was none of that arrogance. Maybe Cody shouldn't have glibly referred to Private Bob during the chat. That didn't come off well, but his intention wasn't to emotionally wound his son. He was worried about Garrison being wounded. So, while Cody deserves criticism, this particular scene may be misinterpreted. Cody is Garrison's father, and he's trying to be a good dad while a camera crew follows him around. It's hard enough to play that role when no one is watching. Reality TV puts its participants under terrible pressure. Social media can be a cesspool where people take out their aggression on celebrities. Whether critics hide behind fake names or not, they can hurt the people who appear in these shows. Few reality stars have gotten more shade than Cody, but to paint him as responsible for a suicide is irresponsible. No one deserves that blame. Perhaps Garrison acted impulsively in the heat of the moment. Sister wives kids didn't sign up for reality fame. Since there are still younger children in the family, ending the show might be the best way to protect them from the stressors that may have acted on Garrison. He felt like he had to compete on social media but couldn't measure up. However, he was a sweet person who rescued a cat from euthanasia. Garrison loved his family and friends. If Sister Wives continues, the cast members won't be the same. However, viewers may feel a surge of sympathy that leads to less criticism online. That would be a best-case scenario. No one's as bad as Cody's made out to be. No one in the cast is truly evil. No, not even, Sobin Robin. However, the odds are that the family will continue getting shade because they are major celebrities, and other brown kids may not enjoy any of that. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe your channel.